Hey guys, let's make one of these signs for the front porch. First, we're gonna to need to cut our material to length. We're gonna do this at the miter saw. Instead of using actual fence pickets, we're just using a piece of scrap half inch ply. So we've got to make them look like pickets. And to do this, I'm just going to line it up on the table saw and just kind of eyeball almost center. You want to be a little bit off center to one side or the other. And I'll tell you why in a second. And now we're just going to set the depth of our blade just enough to score the surface of the material. You want to just barely be cutting through that first layer of ply here. And remember when we talked about being a little bit off center? Well, that's where this comes into play. Because we're going to flip our piece like a book, not like a calendar. Or horizontally, not vertically, if you will. And this is just going to keep our two grooves from being right on top of each other and weakening the board. I'll show you an example of that. There. Notice how her grooves are not on top of each other. And while the Glowforge is cutting out our letters, we're going to go ahead and put some dog ears on our quote unquote fence pickets. And again, we're just gonna eyeball these. I'm gonna cut them off real quick with a pull saw. Okay, letters are done. Now we've just got a piece of upside down painter's tape stuck to a board. And we're just gonna use this to hold these in place while we spray our primer and paint. For this, I like to use this Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. Stuff is amazing. We're just going to give them a nice thin even coat here. After that dries for about 15-20 minutes, we can come back and hit it with a couple of nice light coats of white or whatever color spray paint you want. And while that's drying, we'll go ahead and take care of everybody's favorite part, sanding and staining. Now that everything's dry, we're going to go ahead and lay out our letters about where we want them. Then we're going to use some CA glue and activator to hold them in place. And this really speeds things up. And there we go. It's all done.
Now you just put it on your front porch and make all your guests feel welcome. Or, if you don't want to be disturbed, you can just flip it over. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week.